I'm about to say something that's super unpopular, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Did you guys know that not all prayers get answered? Before you come at me, let me explain what I mean. There are some of you that pray with the wrong motive, and this is why your prayers don't get answered. God tries to keep our heart. God knows what to do to keep us in humility and to keep us from getting distracted from the things of the world and sometimes we pray and our prayer does not line up with the will of God and one thing you have to understand is that the will of God is for what's best for us anytime we begin to go against the will of God our desire should be Lord I don't need it then anytime we feel like we have to go in prayer and God doesn't give us what we're praying for him it's in your best interest and I know that may be hard to believe, but you have to get the understanding of God's will is better for me than my own will. Because God wants what's best for you. He wouldn't want anything less than what's best for you. So when you pray and you don't get that prayer answered, know that the will of God is better for you. Your mindset should be, okay, God, so you didn't allow it because you have something better. Okay, God, you didn't allow it because it would have distracted me. If I had what I was praying for, it might have distracted me from you. Or maybe it would have caused me to manifest in pride. Or whatever it is, Lord, you know the reason why that prayer was an answer. The Bible tells us that sometimes our prayers are not answers because we ask with a wrong motive. You guys need to get the understanding that the heart posture before God matters there are many different reasons why our prayers don't get answered and i have it here for those of you who doubt proverbs fifteen twenty nine says the lord is far from the wicked but he hears the prayers of the righteous so when you're wicked right the bible says that god doesn't hear your prayers and then i need you guys to also understand that there are vain prayers too sometimes we pray when um when a group of people but your heart posture is not correct you know you're praying and you're praying for your much words you're praying because there's a crowd there you want to be seen of the crowd jesus's disciples asked him teach us how to pray and jesus literally told them how to pray and he simplified it he didn't give no fancy prayer no long drawn out prayer he literally told them how to pray effectively and why was it effective because God already knows what you want before you ask. So to have these long, powerful prayers, and I need you to notice that the time that you pray these long, powerful prayers is more than likely when you're in front of people because you want to be seen for your much speaking. You want to be seen for the fact that you know all these big terminology and religion that, you know, that, that makes you look powerful. But it's praying and it's praying in vain. You know, God responds to a heart posture that understands that God is able to take care of your needs and will supply for your needs. So when Jesus taught them how to pray, he got straight to the point because he knows who his God is. Do you know who your God is? There are times when people would ask me to pray for them and they'd be so shocked that I get straight to the point and I don't fumble for religious words and vain repetitious things that people would say. I just get so straight to the point and I pray and people are like, that's it? That's all you got? And then I'm sitting there like, my God, what is it? Do you not believe? Like, do you really need this long drawn out prayer to have faith? You don't think that God is a God who just needs to you to get to the point of what you need and finish it at that you know some people feel like you need this long powerful prayer and my god i know it's needed sometimes as intercessors you need to go in and by all means go in you know but sometimes you got to check your heart posture self-examination is much needed in the body of christ and knowing the reason why you do certain things is important and one of the main things that you have to know is why is it that you're praying in the way that you're praying is it because you want to be effective before the lord or do you want to sound effective before the people and there is a such thing whether or not you believe it as vain repetitious prayers <laughs> and the father's looking for a heart posture we know this because we say it very often but sometimes we don't understand the depths of it christianity is a relationship and not religion religion holds us in bondage to vain repetitious practices and vain repetitious ways when the father is a god who examines the heart and he knows your heart you can't fool the father so a lot of the times we get caught up in you know vainness 
when the father is just looking for you to come simple the body of christ has got to get to that point where we get back in our secret place first of all so what is the secret place the secret place is your heart posture having that intimacy with the father you can say this long drawn out prayer and god will be dead silent on you and then you can have somebody just go and say father i know you're going to respond thank you father god then the lord responds the craziest thing is <laughs> the person with the pride would always feel like God responded to them. Having God respond to your prayer, there's a heart posture that the Father is looking for. Anyway, God bless you guys and take care.